It's okay, y'all, to see how many people said hi or like how long it took. Mm hmm. Are you live? Yeah. I just want to see. So I just typed hi again. Did it come up? Yep. What popped up? No. Hi, Grace. Was it Happy Saturday? Yeah. Okay. Ugh. Guys, type number one. Hey Jeffrey, what's up? Hi Cindy, Mama J. Was it Joyce? Joyce, Meyer? yes. Okay. We're I just checking to make sure that her, she's um, not lagging or anything. She's good. Hi Lois. Hi Irene, Nancy, Lori, Kelly, Judy, Lynn, Randy. Hi Deanna Dill, Connie Cable, <laughs> Maria. Michelle at Mermaid Cove. Oh, Susanna. Don't cry for me. Jeannie, Jerry, KCATX, Carrie, Lisa. Hi, Karen. Hi, Rita. Loretta. Joanne Lorden. Kendra Joe. Howdy, Kendra Joe. <laughs> Hey, thrifting in Pasadena. Hey, that's not far from Pasadena. My aunt and uncle used to live in Pasadena. Now they live in Sierra Madre. Really? Just saying. Really? I'm just saying. Oh. Hi, Roberta. How's everybody doing today? Hi, Jules. Hi, Deb. Patsy Bennett. Hi, Lori. Hi, Bev. <clears throat> Where's the dang waving hair? You know what? This is the first time I've had my hair down in like months because it's been too hot with the hot flashes. <laughs> Hey, Create at Home. Hey, Laura. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Chris. Little Vintage Me. How you doing? Today it's only like 70. What Alexa. Was Alexa. What's the temperature today? Right now, it's 69 degrees. Fahrenheit. 69 degrees today. 55 degrees. Wow. Have a good afternoon. Nice. How you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> 69 degrees. That's, wow. That's A++ plus plus weather right there. No, it is not. All right. We're going to do a, a vote. Um, if you prefer... Blazing hot weather, type of B. <laughs> if you prefer like a single layer weather, so like mid 60s, low 70s, type of C. There's a B. B. Mm, just wait, just wait. Watch all the C's. C, oh, C, oh, there C, they come. C, yeah. C, B. Whatever, you guys. Yeah. I don't care. I like my 90s. <laughs> But see, I bet they all live where it's hot all year long, huh? Don't y'all? I, I don't think so. I bet they I do. I don't think so. I bet you y'all live where it's hot all year. Someone said Florida. San Fernando, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, San Fernando Valley. California. Yeah. Boston, Massachusetts, see, no. Southern California. Boston is right, like, similar with us. Ohio, Ohio Michigan. With us. Yeah. Mm. Jeffrey. <laughs> well, I like hot weather. I do not like the cold weather. It's not cold, though. It's so pleasant. Anything below 70 is cold to me. It's 69. It's one degree. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. 
<laughs> so I believe it is three o'clock. So um, I guess we'll go over the rules uh, right quick. So I will show an item. I will tell you the price and I will um, then tell you the number. If you would like to purchase that item, you type the number of the item in the chat. Whoever we see first on our end in the chat will win the item. If you find that you are lagging, first make sure that you're in live chat, not top chat, and you may have to refresh. You may have to go out and come back in. Also, uh, invoices, I usually have them all out um, by the end of the day on Sunday. So um, in order for me to send you an invoice, after the sale, you will need to send me your real name, your YouTube name, your PayPal email address, whatever address that you have associated with your PayPal account, and your full mailing address so that I can send you an invoice, um, which will include your items that you purchased with shipping. Shipping is not included in any of the prices of the items. It is separate. Um, what else? Um, I will have some offer up items as well. Um, I have quite a bit today, guys. Um, it's not a lot of really big items. I have a lot of smaller things today, too. So um, I'm going to tell you what. It's costing me a ton of money for bubble wrap. <laughs> so I'm kind of trying to stay away from like the larger items. Um, I do have some that are large, but anywho, uh, why don't we get started? All right. The first items that I am starting with are these mid-century modern syrup containers they have like that copper kind of a color lid it's kind of like a gold looking. yeah it's like a rose gold um color uh no paint loss on these at all oh thank you it's thrifted <laughs> um they're in excellent condition um there is no marking on there so i'm really not sure who makes them at first i thought maybe it was pyrex but usually Pyrex will mark their stuff. So for these awesome containers, trying something new today, they are $8 for the set. No, let's see. <laughs> number three, $8. No, no, it's supposed to be number four, or maybe not. Number three. Nope, not on mine. What is it? I'm okay. It's number four, and it's a different price. Oh, I know what happened. That's okay. I I had two cards stuck together. Hold on, guys. I had I had two cards stuck together. Well, hold, no, because I'm just gonna give it to Jill. Well, you but it's it a wrong. different price. Okay. All right. My my fault. My fault. I'm trying this new th system, and I already don't like it. <laughs> Let me start this again. For the mid-century modern syrup containers, they are $12 and they are number four. $12 for the pair, number four. Jill Mosey. Okay, Jill. <laughs> you got them, Jill. Sorry about that, guys. And you know what? Actually, it's a lot more work doing it this way than the way I did it before. So I tried telling you. Well, you know what? I had to give it a shot. <laughs> All right. So Jill Mozina won those. All right. Next, I have this beautiful frosted glass pink basket. It's beautiful. There are no cracks, no chips. It's in excellent condition. 
This one is $8, and it is number three. $8, number three. Joyce Myers. Okay, Joyce Myers. You have this mark wrong on here? I'm batting a thousand today. I got the wrong price on the sheet I gave her. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Here, stick it right in there. That's what I'm doing. All right. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to just start running. Mm hmm. <gasps> okay. Just chug along there, Keisha. I'm, I'm trucking along here, guys. All right. Next, I have. Uh, this beautiful Fenton satin glass bell. Uh, it still has the Fenton sticker on the inside. It glows, as you can see. Weird. I know. It's white, but it glows green. It is actually, it has a green tint to it. Uh-oh. Oh, it's just saying something was delivered. Uh. So... Uh, this is in the, the Daisy Button pattern. So this bell is $10, number 10. $10, number 10 for the Fenton Bell. Ring, ring. Blue Flamingo Mercantile. All right, Lori C. You get the bell. I'm uh, abbreviating her. Blue Fla Merc. Blue Fla Merc. <laughs> That's your new abbreviation, Lori. <laughs> Blue Fla Merc. <laughs> OMG. Hi, Nate. <laughs> okay. All right. What's that for? It's cute. It is a biscuit jar. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Up next is this gorgeous Lefton biscuit jar. It's in excellent condition. No cracks, no chips, no crazing. This is what the lid looks like. Show you the sticker on the bottom. This is a beautiful piece. That looks like something Grandma Helene would have had. Like that Grandma, Grandma Pat had something like that right. too. So this beautiful biscuit jar is $14. And it is number eight. $14, number eight. For the biscuit jar. Christina Garza. Christy Garza, you are the winner oh, of this. I, why do I always call it Christina? Sorry. I don't know. Christy. But it's Christy Garza, and she is the winner of the gorgeous biscuit jar. My bad. My bad. There you are. I was weeding too quick. <laughs> All right, let me grab this item over here. All right, so Jess and I, um, yesterday I went to um, an estate sale, and uh, today her and I went to two estate sales. We went back to the one I went to yesterday for half price day and went to another estate sale that started today and went to a few um, yard sales as well. So eh, it, was, it was all right. It was meh. It was meh. But yeah. I did want to tell you, the second one that we went to had the same exact tablecloth that I bought. Oh, did they? For half off, oh. but it was $12. Oh. And I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Hard no. Okay. My next item is this adorable little apple teapot. It's awesome with the black and white check. Perfect condition, no cracks, no chips. Perfect. That's the top. Really, really cute. If Pat Hall is here, she's. I hope she gets it because she 
loves her apple stuff. So this is going to be $12, number seven. $12, number seven. Pat Hall. Hey, <laughs> she's here. <laughs> there you go, Pat. <laughs> Yay. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Convenient. All right. It's all yours, Pat. Thank you, everybody, that has uh, purchased so far. Awesome. All right. Ugh. All right. Hi, Cheryl. Yes, makeup does wonders, doesn't it? <laughs> I said to Jessica this morning, I said, you know what? Maybe I'll put a little makeup on today so I don't look like such a hag for my sale. You know? I can't relate. I never wear makeup. Yeah, she doesn't really wear makeup. Only once in a while. All righty. Okay, next I have this really cool uh, lady planter. She does have paint loss. As you could see, this used to be um, green going all around the bottom of her dress and uh, her little sash and bow um, on her waist but the paint has long since been gone. It's cold painted, and of course, after years of cleaning, it comes off. But she's still in perfect shape, though. She doesn't have any cracks or any chips. Uh, there's no crazing, okay? So this is $12, number 15. $12, number 15 for the Lady Planter. All right. Moving on. You want to give me, oh, uh, Diane Carter. Okay. Hi, Diane. Thank you. How much was it? Uh, $12. Oh, I was just double checking. Alrighty, next I have a really cute set of salt and pepper shakers. We have these little cactus, cacti, cac whatever, cactuses. Those are cactuses. Cactuses. Cacti is, I cacti think is one. No, I thought a cat. I, I don't know. know. Whatever. They're cactuses. <laughs> uh, they have rubber uh, stoppers in there. No cracks. No chips. Really cute if you're like from Arizona or, you know, Colorado, Vegas. Vegas, you know. So these are $10 and they are number 28. $10, number 28 for the cactus. KCATX. Okay, Carrie, you got them, Carrie. Give me the planter too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hustling, hustling, hustling. Hustling, hustling. Hustlin, hustlin. I need that number. Okay. You are welcome. Hey, Poodle. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> How do I? Oh, so, um, Loretta, what you are going to do is you are going to email me. My email is in the description box of all of my videos. Um, when Jessica comes back, I'll have her type it in for you. You're going to email me your name, the email address that's associated with your PayPal account, and your full mailing address, and I will send you an invoice. Hi, Stacy. How are people getting numbers before posted? Um, if you're having issues and you're seeing the numbers pop up in the chat before... I say them. Um, just go ahead, completely close out and rejoin in and also make sure you are in live chat. Yes, you have to be in live chat, not top chat. Good to see you too, Stacy. How you doing? Hi, Soapy. Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> Here, you want to see the whole thing? 
<laughs> All right. Next, I have this vintage ink bottle. It says Parker on the lid. Um, it has a little, uh, little dent down here and a little bit of paint loss over here, but you can still see the ink in there. It's pretty cool. So this is going to be $6 and it is number 22, uh, no, no, 55. <laughs> I can't read my own writing. Hi, Anna. <laughs> Six dollars, number 22, 55, Stop, 55 for the ink bottle. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Michelle at Mermaid Co. Michelle Mermaid Co. I'm glad she was able to decipher. I know. You get the ink bottle for six dollars all right <laughs> i don't know this is so cute i'm like oh, it's so cute i just i don't really want to sell it but i have no more room so it's this little chicken creamer look how cute he is Wow. It's got little clovers on there Why don't you just and flowers. Swap it out for something else, man. No. Mm, okay. Isn't he cute? I love it. I know it <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was like something like almost uh So this little guy is six dollars and he is number fifty-four. Six dollars, number fifty-four for the little chicken creamer. Darby Deb. All right, Darby Deb, you get the little chicken. <laughs> All right, thank you, Deb. Oh, who was that? Hi, Cheryl. Oh, you have the creamer, Elizabeth? It's so cute. All right, we're going to do a Starbucks mug. This is the You Are Here uh, collection of Starbucks, and this one is Detroit. It's really cool. It's in perfect condition. No cracks, no chips, no utensil marks, no coffee stains. And this is from, uh, it's 14 ounces, but I don't see a date. That looks like a newer style of them. Does it? Okay. I would say within the last like five years. Okay. So this mug is going to be $10.00. And it's number 53. $10, number 53 for the Detroit Starbucks mug. All righty. I have another um, mug here, and this one is a Disney mug. This one is Tinkerbell. I think she is so cute. I love Tinkerbell. This is... Um, I don't think the Disney one say how many ounces it is. No, it doesn't. It's probably, I would say it's about 16 ounces. It's tapered though, so I don't know. I don't know. But it's like, it's in perfect condition. So uh, this mug is also $10.00. And it is number 52. $10, number 52 for Tinkerbell. Jill Rosina. All right, Jill, you get Tinker. All right, there you go. Okay, up next I have a single... Uranium glass sherbet dish. 
Uh, this one kind of has like a ribbed block optic sort of a pattern. Uh, it does have a chip right here on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but other than that chip down there and a few little flea bites, uh, the rim is fine. There's no chips or anything on the rim. So this little Sherbert container, or container, dish, is $6, and it's number 24. $6, number 24, for the uranium glass Sherbet dish. Michelle. Michelle Mermaid Cove. All right. That'd be yours. Thank you. All righty. Um, I just want to make sure these are going to be the ones. Okay, I have some salt and pepper shakers for you guys. I have these pretty like crystal looking. I don't really think they're real crystal. But then again, there is a sticker on the bottom. No, they're glass. They are glass, but they're really pretty designed like cut glass. They have the clear tops. There's the sticker on the bottom. Aren't they pretty? So these are going to be $8, and they are number 32. $8, number 32 for the salt and pepper shakers. Patricia Gesner. Oh, Patricia. Okay, Patricia Gesner. You are the winner of the glass salt and pepper shakers. Thank you. All righty. Um, I do have another um, coffee mug. Um, and this one is dishwasher safe as well as the other ones were also dishwasher safe. Some people might think it's not because of the handle, but it does say on the bottom, that it's dishwasher safe. And this is a letter C mug. It has the pretty handle. It has the C on both sides. And it's made by Opal House Porcelain. Which is, is it Target brand? Let me I, see it. I don't know. Oh yes, it is It is from Target. It's got the bullseye yeah. on the bottom. So um, really a very pretty mug. So this is going to be $8 for the mug, number 42. $8, number 42 for the letter C mug. Cheryl Hoskins. There you go, Cheryl. <laughs> Can enjoy your coffee in your own personal mug. All right. Thank you. Okay, I, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm trying to get rid of some coffee cups here, guys, because I have a plethora of coffee cups. It's plethora. I said plethora. It sounds like you said plethora. Like leather. <laughs> there is nothing worse than having someone constantly correct your speech. Anyway, <laughs> all right, now, this set of cups is from Hall. They are marked, and they call these barrel mugs because they look like barrels, um, and they are on the heavier side. Um, I have four, a set of four of these. No cracks, no chips. They're in excellent condition. So like I said, there's a set of four. And these are going to be $12 for the four, number 41. $12, number 41 for all four of the Hall coffee mugs. Three 
Teresa Faulkner. Teresa Faulkner. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. All right. All right. I have another um, small item. Uh, this beautiful uh, cobalt blue toothpick holder. I loved that game, Barrel of Monkeys. Oh, my God. I used to play that all the time when I was little. Um, this is from Germany. I don't know if you can see that very well on the bottom, but it's made in Germany. And it actually is a picture of the... The Courthouse Square. It's so pretty. So this little toothpick holder is $6 and it's number 40. $6, number 40. Hi, Nancy. For the toothpick holder. And Burris. Burris. Annie Burris. Okay, Annie. Thank you. Okay. Um. Okay, I have a very, very cool. Yes, I do. Um, pretty soon I'm going to be going down and digging out some fall stuff. See, this is my dilemma. I love decorating for fall, but I have a ton of Halloween stuff that I, I like to decorate for Halloween too. So it's like, put fall up, take it down. Put Halloween up, take it down. Put fall back up. Take fall down, put Christmas up. So I don't know what to do. I don't know if I want to just not do fall anymore and just do Halloween or I don't know. I don't know what to do. So I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Anywho, I have this really cool baking powder tin. Oh, you mix yours up, Cheryl? I try. See, the thing is, though, the thing is, when you take all this stuff down and you wrap it up and put it away, um, what I usually do is whatever holiday decorations I'm putting up, I wrap this stuff up and put it in th those bins and then lose it. And then lose it. <laughs> it gets all mixed up. So, yeah. I don't know. Anyways, here is this really cool old baking soda tin. It does have, you know, it's old, obviously. That's the lid. I, I don't even know if I could get, I can't, I can't open it. It does not open. But anyways, it's really cool. It would look awesome in somebody's kitchen. So, $6 for the baking soda tin. Number 47. There you go. Six dollars, number 47. Shirley Pearl. Shirley. Hi, Shirley. All right. Thank you, Shirley. Okay, next I have... Um... Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. I just realized that this has a huge crack going all the way through it. So we're not doing that one. All right. I really need to go and get better glasses. Just saying. <laughs> Next is this adorable, how cute are these two? 
look at their faces. They are absolutely adorable. They don't get any cuter than that. Look at their faces. Aren't they cute? Anyways, um, this is made uh, by Inarco Japan. There's not a crack or a chip anywhere. Perfect condition. So these are $12 for this figurine. Number 45. $12 Number 45. I think they're so cute. Oh, my Lynn goodness. Lynn Hampton. Lynn Hampton. There you go, Lynn. All right. I'm going to do one more item, and then we're going to do an offer up item. All right. So let me move some of this stuff over. Okay. Next is this awesome, beautiful yellow Oxford pitcher. It's in perfect condition. No cracks or chips, no crazing. There it is, there's the name on the bottom, Oxford Wear. This would be an amazing pitcher with some uh, tulips or something in it for the spring. Just love it. What's a willow figure? Um, remember those little wooden things I had, the little angels? They were they were made out of wood. They're people. No. Oh. Okay. Well, the reason why I was asking was because Judy. Oh, that Jessica prefer willow figures, and I don't know. Oh, she doesn't are. even know what they are. Yeah, she doesn't. No, she doesn't collect those. She doesn't really. But anyways, so this picture is $14, number 60. $14, number 60. What an awesome picture. Uh, Jill Mozina. Jill Mozina gets the Oxford picture. This is beautiful, Jill. You're going to love this. And it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice weight. Really, it's in excellent shape, so... All right, it is time for an offer up item. So let me grab it. All right. Oh, we got the cowbell, don't worry. <laughs> we got it. Okay, so this is the deal with the offer up item. I am going to show you an item and I am going to give you a starting offer price. You will have one minute to put your offers in in dollar increments. Jessica will type st uh, start and that's when everybody can start putting their offers in. At the end of the minute, we will type stop. We will then refresh the page. Whoever has the highest offer above the word stop, on our end, what we see will be the winner of the item. So let me get my little timer ready. All right, so let me show you what the offer up item is. It is this amazing vintage bar set. It is the cocktail shaker with the lid and it comes with five glasses. These glasses are probably about six inches tall and there are five, like I said, I would call these like Tom Collins glasses, okay? So it's the set of five glasses, the cocktail shaker with the lid. The only issue is it has a couple little ding marks right here on the lid. All right. 
Starting offer is going to be $15. Okay? Are you ready? Start. Oh, that was <laughs> there we there go. We go. Can't, do, can't do two hands. <laughs> so here we go. This is an awesome set, guys. All right, so we're at we're 26 with Annie P. 30, 20 seconds so far. 30, Judy Reardon. 35, Elizabeth Grove. 30 seconds, everyone. Those, not girls. Judy Reardon, 40. 20 seconds. All right, 10 seconds, everyone. 45, Elizabeth Gov. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. All right, we're going to refresh and see who the lucky winner is. Sure. <clears throat> I have Judy Reardon 50 right above me. Okay. Judy Reardon is the winner of this bar set for $50. Thank you, Judy. Hi, Renee. Hey, Vintage and Vinyl. Congratulations, congratulations, Judy. I can't talk today. There you are. want to tell them that it's number 61. Oh, Judy, just so you know, the item number is number 61. Jim Reardon is Judy Reardon. That's her husband's. Yeah, she uses her husband's um, YouTube name. All right. Awesome. Okay, let's do um, another set of salt and pepper shakers real quick. These are beautiful. I just love these. They have gorgeous violets on them. Uh, she, she was here, Southern Mermaid. Or no, yeah. No. No? Well, no, we have... Oh, Michelle. Michelle at Mermaid, Michelle Cove. At Mermaid Cove was here. Um, Those are the bottom. I don't know who makes them. Those are the tops. And that's the way they're supposed to look. That is like their design, I guess. It's either that... It looks... Sure that's not salt like iodized marks? I don't know. They're both like that. I think that's the design that they're supposed to have on there. Hmm. But anyways, so you get this beautiful set. For $10, number 44. $10, number 44 for the Violet Salt and Pepper Shakers. Renee Lampley. Renee. Okay. Thanks, Renee. Uh, yes, I do have Disney stuff today, Annie. Oh, yes. We have Disney. <laughs> All righty. Um, I have a beautiful vase for you guys. Um, this is another uh, Bartlett Collins vase. It looks like this. It has the pretty hand-painted um, flowers on them. So. It has, um, this is actually a manufacturer's defect. It's actually an indentation in the glass. Um, I don't know, but it's not a crack. It was, that's how it was made. Um, and it does have a little bit of paint loss on the gold going around here. 
Yeah, that's the dog next door. He's blind, and so he doesn't know where he's at, <laughs> basically. <laughs> and he gets, like, scared. Um, and there's some paint loss on the gold around here as well. Okay, so this vase is going to be $10, and it's number 50. $10, number 50. Samantha Golden. Samantha Golden. Thank you, Samantha. You're new to me, so um, at the end of the live sale, you're going to email me your name, your full mailing address, and whatever email is associated with your PayPal account. And I will send you an invoice. All righty. Let's see. I am going to do a, um, a linen item. I have this awesome card table cloth. Oh, it's cute. Isn't it cute? So it is um, a perfect square. It goes onto a card table. This is the pretty design. I think those are supposed to be like carnations or something. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's in excellent shape. I didn't even find any stains or anything on it because I did wash it. I can open it up so you guys can see. Okay, so I'm offering this for $12, and it's number 37. $12, number 37 for the card table. Oh, Susanna. Cloth. Okay, Susanna. Oh, Susanna oh, who is the winner of the tablecloth. All right. Um, how about another, let's see, um, okay, I'm going to do this, um, it's a set of two vintage purses. The first one is this one. This is really, really pretty. That's the back. Now it does have uh, some lipstick stains on the inside. <coughs> God bless you. Um, this was made, David's Import Made in Japan. It has the tag on the inside. It's in pretty good shape. So this is the first one, and this one is the second one. So you're going to be getting the set of two, and this is like a brocade, I guess. The inside is nice and clean. It has a little, little zipper pocket right here. Zipper works fine. And it has the big... Um, bulbous <laughs> closure. So you will get the set of two purses for $10 and it's number 57. $10, number 57 for the two purses. Shirley Pearl. Okay, Shirley Pearl. She's going to be styling. I'm just going to stick yep, this inside. In. Yep. Okay. Oh. All right. I have a piece of uh, milk glass for you. This is a really pretty, um, I think this is more of a planter um, than a vase. 
really, really pretty. I love the design of it. It says, it only has like three little dots on the bottom. But it's in really great shape. There's no cracks, no chips on it at all. So this face is going to be $8, number 25. Eight dollars, number twenty-five. Kendra Joe. Kendra Joe. Thank you, Kendra. Was it that's the Northwest Planter, right? Yes, number twenty-five. All right. Ooh, hot flash! Yay! <laughs> All right. I am going to do a set of towels. Uh, these are brand new in the package, and I'm selling them as a set because they they do kind of go together. Um, but it is this set of towels, and it has like a, this one has like lavender and stuff on it, I believe. I'll show you this side. And it has the pretty green stripe. And then this one is also has the same green and the black and the purple. This is like a like a French motif. So you get the set of two towels for ten dollars, and they are number five. Ten dollars, number five. Uh, Elizabeth, go. Elizabeth. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. All right. I'm just putting this in here. Yep. <laughs> you want me to get you a fan? No, it'll it'll pass <laughs> at some point. Holy moly. All righty. I have another teapot. Whew. This one is made by Hall. And it's this gorgeous navy blue or cobalt blue and gold. There are um, there is a there is a chip here, right on the spout. Um, if you wanted to, you could touch it up with some gold paint. Um, it's in perfect condition on the inside. There's the bottom. Beautiful color. So, this is going to be. $12, and it's number 23. $12, number 23 for the Hall teapot. Beautiful color. It's I love cobalt blue and gold. It looks so, like, regal, like rich. Uh, Elizabeth Gov. Elizabeth Gov. Thank you. All right. Um, I have a beautiful pitcher. This would look gorgeous with flowers in it. It probably had a lid at one time. It, perhaps it was a teapot. But it's this beautiful blue, white, and gold pitcher. There are no cracks, no chips. It's got that beautiful uh, blue floral design. Designs all along the handle. I love this here. That's the best part, all along here. Uh, there is nothing on the bottom. I don't know who makes it. So this is going to be $12. 
and it's number two. Twelve dollars, number two. Jeffrey Ross. Jeffrey, you've been very quiet today. Thank you, Jeffrey. All right. Uh, let me see. I have a patriotic item for you guys. You can put it away for next year. It is this really cool candle holder with uh, the American Eagle on it. Uh, this color is like a cream color, and then this is brown. Um, it's made in Japan. And it says, our rights and our liberties is what it says. Really nice piece. This is $10, number 56. $10, number 56 for the Patriotic Candle Holder. Kendra Jo. All right, Kendra. Thank you. All righty. Um, let me see. What do I want to do next? Oh, okay, guys. Strawberry time. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Look at this canister. Tell me this is not the coolest thing ever. That's the top. It's in excellent condition. No cracks, no chips. Um, there is no maker on the bottom. And I love the color of this. It's not a bright red. You know, it's more of like a burgundy red. So this awesome canister is $14 and it is number one. $14, number one, for the strawberry canister. Christy Garza. Christy Garza. All right. There we go. All right. I got a lot of smalls here that I'm going to try to bang out, you guys. I have like three more sets of salt and pepper shakers that I would like to, um, to do. The first set. Are these beautiful crystal ones with the stand? They're so pretty. Um, there are no cracks, no chips. The tops um, are like kind of tarnished looking. This one has, you know, from the salt. But these are so pretty. Let me show you the actual stand. That's what the stand looks like. Very, very pretty set. So this set is $12 and it's number 30. $12, number 30. Triple S Mercantile. All right. Lynn Hampton, or not Lynn Hampton. <sighs> Lynn Johnson. Dottie Lynn. You get the salt and peppers. All righty. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to get the salt and peppers out of here. I don't know what I did with the, oh, that one I want to do, those, that. Okay. Um, I have a beautiful floral 
uh, soap dispenser pump. Okay. It's kind of like stoneware with the speckled look. Really, really pretty. Um, it doesn't have a mark on the bottom. I don't know who makes it. But it's really pretty. So this is going to be $8 and it's number 11. $8, number 11. Diane Caroline. Diane Caroline. All right. Thank you, Diane. Caroline. Caroline. All right. I have a beautiful green crackle vase with an applied handle. No cracks, no chips. Uh, the Ponto mark seems to have been like uh, polished. It's in perfect condition. It's a beautiful green color. So this is going to be $10 and it's number nine. $10, number nine. Hey, good morning. Anna, thank you, Anna. Okay, I have another vase. Now, I, when I bought this, I did not notice this until I did the haul video. Um, this is a Royal Hager vase. It's really cool. I love the colors of this. So, when I brought it home and I was showing it in my video, I realized that it was cracked and glued back on. So what I did was, is I took some watercolor paints and I touched up where the crack was and you can't even tell that this was ever um, broken. Okay, so, but I want you to be aware that it was repaired, okay? So, this vase, because it was repaired, is only $8, and it's number 16. $8, number 16 for the Royal Hager vase. Uh, Blue Flamurk. Blue Flamurk. <laughs> yeah, Blue Flamurk. Hi, Binksy. Binks is here. You can see his tail. Hi, buddy. What's up? Hi. Oh, buddy, you, <laughs> he wants to lay on my lap. He just drank a bunch of water, too. Did he? Mm -hmm. Hi. What's going on? <sighs> okay, buddy. He did something really weird today, guys. Um, I don't know why, but he, um... He peed all over my bedroom floor. Um, and the litter boxes weren't like dirty or anything. I don't understand why he would do that. But yeah, it was very strange. Hey, what's up? I don't know. Okay. I don't know if he was mad at me. He well, might have been. Well, there's that, but also, Sis said maybe he has a UTI. I was thinking that. Because it was, the thing is, it's where he was, was, she has a window right in that area, and we have. I have a bench. We have um, stray cats in the neighborhood that um, our neighbor, like, feeds, so very often they're in our backyard and, like, climb over the fence or whatever, so I don't know if he saw the cat and, like, it was, like, a territorial thing. No, it wasn't spray. It was, no. it was like, a legitimate puddle. Like a, pu like a puddle. Like, he, he actually peed on the bench, on the seat of the bench, and a huge puddle on the floor. I really hope he's not blocked because we just had him Oh, he can't be blocked. He wouldn't be able to pee if he was blocked. Well, somebody said, could he be blocked? No, no. We are. He had a surgery to take care of that. He he couldn't pee before. Now, obviously, he pees fine. 
Um, but I'm thinking any blood? No, no, just no, urine. no blood. Just a but lot of really, urine. Really, really strong. Really, I, really yes, strong. Yes, he's been neutered. He's he's fixed and everything. I think it might be a UTI because it was very strong smelling. So that's what I'm thinking. So I think um, I have to give maybe Dr. Mike's a call. Yeah, and I'll give you his number. Yeah, because I think he might have a UTI. Yeah. Oh, boy. Anyways, okay, so some more salt and pepper shakers. Hi, buddy. <laughs> um, these are made in Nippon, but they're very boring. They are just plain, plain old white salt and pepper shakers made in Nippon. They have the cork bottoms. So these are going to be... Eight dollars, and these are number thirty-one. Eight dollars, number thirty-one for the Nippon salt and pepper shakers. Okay. All right. Next, I have, um, these are, I'm assuming that these are uh, Corningware, Spice of Life, Salt and Pepper Shakers. Um, they're in really good condition. Those are the tops. Okay. These are also eight dollars. Eight dollars, number twenty-nine. Eight dollars, number twenty-nine for the Spice of Life salt and pepper shakers. Barb Jam. Barb Jam. Okay, hi, buddies. <laughs> All right. Okay, just give me a second, guys. I'm trying to pull out my, here's that one, that one. Those, okay. And All right. I don't know what I did with the um, the card for those. Uh, I can just tell you. Oh, you're there. Okay. All right. Next up, I have this set of Fenton Kissing Boy and Girl figurines in the blue satin glass. Um. They still have the Fenton sticker on the bottom. They're in perfect condition, no cracks, no chips. And these are going to be $12, number 27. $12, number 27 for the Fenton girl and boy. Lori Wortley. Lori Wortley. Thank you, Lori. All right, another strawberry item. This is just a cute little wall plaque. So cute. I wish I had room for, I have, I'm running out of wall space. But this is only gonna be $6, and this is number 17. Six dollars, number seventeen for the strawberry wall plaque. Uh, Veronica Sanchez said those would look cute on a wedding cake. Oh yeah, they would. Uh, vintage thrifted treasures. Oh okay. Oh, plaque. it's uh, Laura. Hi, Laura. 
I just realized my zipper's down. <laughs> I forgot to zip my pants. All right, I have a, uh, a little set of birthday figurines. These are all made in Le uh, by Lefton, and it's called the Christopher Collection. So we have number two and number three, and these are all in perfect condition, no cracks and no chips. So we have two and three. I did. I left the barn door wide open. Wide open. And then I have, I don't have the fourth one, but I do have five and six. And there are the markings on the bottom. So you get two, three, five, and six. And these are going to be $12, number 51. $12, number 51, for the four of them. Nancy Johnson. Nancy Johnson. Um, what did you say that number was? 51. It's labeled wrong. It's labeled wrong? Mm -hmm. Um, huh, okay. Um, all right, I'm just trying to find them on here because you have 51 as whatever this is. Oh, that's these two. So, where's that card? Uh, Technical difficulties. You know, I always got to screw up the numbers. Do you know what you would have labeled them as? Yes. These? What are they? Those like? are the birthday figurines. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so. No, it's fine. We'll just switch the number. So yeah. Give me, let me see. So what it's twenty six. No, that's not what I wanted to do. But all right. Okay. So, so this is what we're doing. Exactly. But you already said it. That's okay, though. That's <laughs> whatever. All right. All right. Next, so I have um, another set of Occupied Japan figurines, the man and the woman. Um, there is the mark on the bottom. Hi, Paula. So we have this dapper guy over here. And we have her just trying to be so cool and, you know, nonchalant reading her book. And you know, she's thinking, I hope he comes over and talks to me. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> so, you get the set of these lovely Occupied Japans for $12, number 26. $12, number 26 for the set. Uh, Jill Mozina. Jill, Jill, you got them, Jill. Yeah, I just pulled the wrong <laughs> card. <laughs> so that's that's that that one, and those go with these. All right, I'm gonna have Jessica come up here in a second, and she's gonna do we her. Might as well do like another couple small things while I. Yeah, she's just going to, I'm going to do a couple more small things, and then she's going to do her Disney stuff. And then when I come back, we're going to do um, an offer up item as well. So let me see. How about we do, I have a really cool um, lot of shot glasses. So hang on, I got to find my. 
my little card. Yes, I'm not doing it this way anymore. Okay. So, I have a lot of shot glasses. First of all, we're going to start off with two. Uh, these are pink depression glass. Oh, Jess, can you put my email address in real quick? Jessica's going to put it in for you. Hi, Joanne. So, I have two pink depression glass. I have one with a yellow bottom, one with the cranberry colored bottom, a clear one, I love doing this, a uranium glass one, a Florida, Florida one, and another uh, clear one with the ribbed pattern. You could use them for whatever you want. You don't have to just use them for shot glasses. Heck no, you can use them for whatever you would like. So there are two, four, six, eight shot glasses for $12, and they are number 43. So you get all eight of them for $12, number 43, including the uranium glass. Judy Siegford. Judy Siegford. All right. Um, okay, I'm going to do one more item, and Jessica is going to do her Disney goodies. Okay, I have a really cute set of rooster plates. I'm not keeping them because I, I have no more room for any more roosters, as you can see. So I thought I would offer them to one of you out there. These are really, really nice. They are made by 22 Fifth. And they're in perfect condition. No cracks, no chips. There's the mark on the back. So let me show you this one close up. And then the bigger one. really colorful so you get the set for twelve dollars and these are number 34 twelve dollars number 34 for the set elizabeth gov elizabeth gov you are the winner of number 34 all right okay jessica come on up all you Disney fans, get your fingers ready. <laughs> She's got some cool stuff today. All right. Changing of the guards. Oh, I should have did that first. Well, that's all right. I'll do them. After. After, after. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to start with, um, a couple like random things first. Uh, the first set, I'm doing it as a set. So I bought these ears, wore them for a photo, removed the tag obviously. But the reason why I'm doing th this as a set is because this is from the Flower and Garden Festival 2017, which is like the springtime festival in Epcot. Um, but I... No, I never used this. I bought it, took it home, dishwashed it, and that was it. This is one of those Turvis tumblers, so you can do hot or cold in it. And these are a lot of ounces. I don't know exactly how many, but it's a big, like, double-walled cup. And then I also have the matching ears as well. Like I said, I wore these for a photo. 
but they're super cute and like pastel -y. So for the pair of the Flower and Garden items, it is $20 and it is letter F as in flower. No, Sophie, you gotta stay down. All right, next items are going to be pin lots. Um, before I do these, is everyone interested in seeing the pin lots? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. We're kind of delayed, I think between your chat and my chat, but either way. So I have um, each bag, I'm gonna quickly show you the items in it and I'm just putting this out there right now. I'm an avid Disney pin collector. So all of these pins are 100% authentic. I have ones from Walt Disney World that span from like the first time I went up until like more recent ones like last year. There's some limited edition ones in these lots. There's also some from Disneyland, one from the Walt Disney Studios, which is not open to the public. Um, and then I also have one from like another location in California. So it's a, um, a random assortment of places, but I did kind of categorize them in little um, movie lots. So the first one is called the Pooh Lot. So this is the first pin, it's Eeyore. It's from the Disney Studio Store Hollywood, which is located in um, actually where all the stars are in California. Um, this one was also from a limited edition mystery set. This is Pooh as a Nutcracker. This one is from Hong Kong Disneyland. And it is Rabbit, a part of their Mystery Easter um, box set. And then this one is an old one, but I thought it was kind of cool and unique. And it's Eeyore. And he's like fishing with like a little dangly fish. So for the Pooh Lot set, like I said, because there's some limited edition ones in here, you guys could probably sell them for a little bit more. But because I... I'm not that person. I'm doing the set of five for $12. Oh, sorry. Set of four for $12. And you're going to want to type in P as in poo one. Okay. Blue flamingo. She only put other. Okay. Well. Oh, sorry. Let me verify this. That, that's fine. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say these with a letter you and said then $12? Yes. Oh, because here you have 15. Oh, do I? Yeah. It's only 12, okay. sorry. Um, so it's going to be a letter and a number. So just wait for the number. Okay. The next one is going to be a princess lot. And again, this one is going to have okay. a limited. Blue flamingo, you got the poop in lot. This one is going to be, um, there's some limited edition ones in here limited edition limited release the first one this is a limited edition of 900 this is from the tangled um, pin connection set we have a elsa pin we have a jasmine with baby raja this was from a um, mystery set elsa and anna and then this one I threw in because Dopey is from the Seven Dwarfs. So for this five pin set, it will be $15. And it is uh, E as in elephant one. Karen Dondelinger. This next one is going to be kind of like a miscellaneous. Um, so there are some kind of like random movies in here. Also some random park related things in here. So we have the medallion from Pirates of the Caribbean. We have Pinocchio. The pumpkin ones were from a mystery um, 
Halloween set from last October. So these were the last pins that I purchased on my last trip. Also, we have Peter Pan. We have the um, Epcot 35th anniversary pin with Figment. We also have the Japan World Showcase pin. And we have a Timon and Pumbaa pin. So there are two, four, six pins in this lot. It is going to be $18 and it is going to be R1. Lori Wortley. Lori Wortley wins R1. I used to do a lot of um, pin trading and I I really minimized my pin collection. So now there's only like a handful of movies and stuff that I collect. So that is why there's kind of like an assortment of um, pins that I'm getting rid of just because they don't fit into that collection anymore. Um, we didn't do this one. The next one is going to be a Mickey and Friends set. So this first pin is from the Walt Disney Studios, which is located in Burbank. Um, any ones that I still had the backer cards for, I went ahead and put them on so they're still brand new. So we have this one. We also have this one, which was from A Year of a Million Dreams. So this was probably the second time I went to Walt Disney World. Um, again, kind of with that same vibe, I think it was the same year. We have the Walt Disney World logo pin. I had a Minnie Mouse plush that was from this event. This one is a quote pin. This is from the Disney Wisdom line when they released it. So this was a limited release. And this is what came with the pin um, little banner. But it's a Walt Disney quote. It says it's kind of fun to do the impossible. And then this one, the last one is Mickey and Pluto hugging it out. So for this one, two, three, four, and five pin lot, it is going to be $15, and it is M as in Mickey, two. Lori Wortley. All right, so this next one, I have a feeling a lot of people are going to go a little kooky dukes for because it is a stitch lot. Um, there is four in this one. This one is a limited edition of 500, 600. I don't know. I can't read it at the moment, but this is from the Disney Studio store in Hollywood. We also have this cute little stitch one. This one was from Easter, I think 2004. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. And this one is from Walt Disney World 2015. So for this four piece set, it is $12 and it is S as in stitch two. Lori Wardley. All right, I have two more of the pin lots. I have one more Mickey and Friends one. This has a couple Disneyland pins in it. So this is the first one. We have Mickey and he's just holding some Mickey balloons. It says Disneyland. We have a Donald Nutcracker pin. This is from that same set that that Pooh Nutcracker one was from. Oops. We have a Mickey pumpkin pin. Again, came from the same pumpkin set. I was trying to get Tigger. Tigger was an option in here, and I never, never got him. Uh, we have a 2013 Disneyland pin. This is the first time I actually went to Disneyland, in case you guys care. <laughs> 
And then this is actually one of the first pins I purchased on my first trip. This is a mini pin from 2004. So for that five piece set, it is $15 and it is M as in Mickey one. Victoria H. And the last set is another stitch set. All right, the first one is a 2016 Walt Disney World pin. These three came from the same set. So we have this one, this one, and this one. And then the final one was a Coca-Cola type of bottle or can design, but they picked different characters. And this is the stitch one, so it's called Blue Buggy for the punch bug. So for that five piece set, it is going to be $15 and it is going to be S as in stitch one. Randy Heilman. All right, so that's it for pins. I may have another lot or two for next week. Um, so the next item that I have to share with you guys is a Care Bear tote. It's just a, like a mesh tote. Um, I never used it. It did come with a makeup pouch or something that I did remove and use. But other than that, I never actually used this bag. So for the Care Bear bag, it is $4 and it is letter B as in boy. Christy Garza. Christy Garza. All right, I have a couple baby items. One is a reshow, one is not. This is, wow, I need to like lean over. There we go, that's pretty good. All right, so this is like a play gym that I had purchased for uh, my future child, but decided against it. Um, but yeah, it's a play gym, it does music, there's little um, plastic balls that come with it, and the little dangle bits. So this is going to be $50. And it is letter A. And I do have the exact box, like cardboard box that this was shipped in. So it will fit it perfectly. <laughs> and then the uh, last baby item that I have is this three piece crib set that I also purchased. Has Shusker Free ever made a tea, oh man, they make a lot of tiki room pins. Like a lot, a lot of tiki room pins. Um, I just, actually, no, no, I don't have one, sorry. I was just thinking about it. But anyways, um, this three piece crib set is going to be $50 and the sticker fell off. Uh, it's going to be letter C. It comes with the comforter, the crib sheet, and the crib skirt. And here's kind of the back design of what it comes with and shows. Oops, there's just stuff everywhere. All right, so now we're gonna do what I like to call the plush -a palooza because I have a bunch of plushes because that was one of my favorite things that I collected. The first one is Nana from Peter Pan. New with tags. So Nana is their dog. Nana is $12 and she is going to be letter N for Nana. I also have a poo. It's called Stella a. Stella Maldonado wins letter N. 
Um, I also have a Winnie the Pooh. It's called an Oofoofy. These were really big in Japan. They tried to do them here. It didn't work out, but still new with tags. It is very squishy, almost like a marshmallowy texture, not like our plushes are normally in the States. He is $15 and he is letter P for Pooh. The next two I'm selling as a pair because they are a couple. We have Tramp. And just so you know, these are from before the Disney store stopped doing the embroidered seals on the foot. If you go into a Disney store now, this is no longer there, which is unfortunate because this is kind of what made them stand out. So we have Tramp and we also have Lady. Lady has her tag, and Lady is also the same way with the seal on her foot. These originally retail for $20 per each. I'm doing the pair for, thir uh, for $30, and it is letter T for Tramp. Cheryl Hoskins gets letter T. The next item is perfect for back to school. If you have anyone who's going back to school in your life, this is a character from Sanrio, which is the company that does Hello Kitty, but it's called Cinnamon Roll. It's brand new with the tag. It's a cinnamon roll backpack. He's really, really adorable. I'm asking 25 for the new backpack and it is letter S for Sanrio. It's very cute, and it's in perfect condition. Yeah. Never it, used. It also has the two side pockets for, like, a beverage. has a front pocket. Um, there might be a laptop sleeve on the inside. There's not a laptop sleeve, but there's, like, a little sleeve pocket up there. And the last item I'm going to share with you guys today is this poo he is from the cuddlies line um these came out i want to say within the past two years but these are basically like a it could be a pillow um brand new with tags he's pretty large and in charge he originally retails for 35 dollars i'm asking 25 for poo and he is letter w And that's all I have today. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Just come over this way. I'm just trying to get this stuff out of the way. Oh, that's fine. Alrighty. All right, guys, it is time for another offer up item. Just going to get my little timer going here. All right. So, uh, when I bought this, I really wasn't sure what it was, but y'all told me that uh, this is a Raku pottery piece. It's really, really neat. I love the color. Very, very cool. Oh, Cheryl, somebody wanted poo. Um, oh, Cheryl Hoskins, you wanted the really big one for 25, I think he was. Are you talking about the pillow poo, um, Cheryl? Letter W. 
That would be the big one. Yeah. Okay. All right, we gotcha. We gotcha for poo. All right, so um, I am going to be doing this for an offer up item. Uh, it is signed on the bottom. I have no idea what it says, <laughs> um, but it looks like, I don't know, maybe I have no idea. But anyways, so this will be the offer up item. So um, I am going to start offers for this starting at $15. So as soon as Jessica answers a comment, um, we will type start in there for you guys. So for those of you that don't know how this works, we will start offers at $15. You will have a minute to put offers in in $1 increments. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Start. $15 is the starting bid for this awesome piece of pottery. Blue Flamerk, 15. Lori Wortley, 15. <laughs> Blue Flamerk, 16. <laughs> it's really cool. It like reminds me of a meteorite or something. Blue I don't Flamerk, know. <laughs> 17. It reminds me of oil pastels. Like 30 chalk. seconds, guys. Yeah, it's really neat. Look at the colors in there. Really cool. All right, we're getting down to 10 seconds, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Okay, we are going to refresh and see who is the winner of this awesome vase. One second, I got to... We got a commercial. Yeah, <laughs> always. <laughs> uh, so on my end, it looks like Margaret Petrie. Margaret Petrie. For $20. Margaret Petrie for $20. You win the beautiful Raku vase. That is Congratulations. Number, that is number. It's on there. Yeah, I know, but don't you want to tell them what the number yes. is? Yes. What is it? Um. I don't know. It's not on there? Retirement couple, vintage scale, Weller came Oh, Academy, look on the couple. other page. <laughs> okay, so let's just give it the number of the last, what's the last one? It's going to be number 67. Number 67 will be the number of the vase. How do you spell that? R-A-K-U. Raku vase. Right. Um, it was $20. $20. And oh, Judy Legos was fifty dollars, and it was uh, Margaret Petrie. Yay, Margaret! All right. Okay. Done. Okay, I have um some more towels, guys. So. I have this beaut this these are all brand new towels. Um, this is the pattern on this towel. It's by the same company who did the two lavender ones too. Right. Um, I mean I can take it out, but just to show you, but it the package was sealed. So This is a big towel. Look at. Oh, there's a birdie on it. It's upside down. Yeah. Here, let me. There we go. This is a beautiful towel, you guys. And it has the little thing back here to hang it from. Okay. So, um, this towel is going to be. 
five dollars and it's going to be number six five dollars number six jeffrey ross mm -hmm. Mine's delayed again now. Is it? Mm -hmm. Why don't you refresh? I just came out from being refreshed. Oh, okay. Remember? All right. So there's that one. And I have another one. And actually, I, Jess, if you want to get, grab me that towel off of there, it's the same as this one that I don't have to open the package. So this next one is a... It's a cherry pattern, and I will show you because this one's mine. You can be twinsies. This is awesome. Okay, and it has the same, you know, little thing on the back to hang it from. All right. So, again, it's going to be $5.00. And it is going to be number 68. $5, number 68 for the cherry towel. Jeffrey Ross. Jeffrey. Yeah, I'm getting the comments really like late now. Okay. Okay, Jeffrey Ross. Hold on, I'm going to completely close out. She's going to close right out and come back in because her she's real delayed. So, Which is weird because it just started out of nowhere. Yeah, let me set that over there. All righty. Next, I have um, a set of really pretty uh, dishes. Um, I don't know um, if you want to call them trinket dishes or nut dishes. But they are definitely a pair. They are both made um, royal crown, hand painted, and they are in the shape of a leaf. And then there's this one with the butterflies. Really, really a, a really pretty set. So, for the set, they are going to be $12, and they are number 22. $12, number 22 for the set. Georgie Campbell, is that who you got? Yep. Georgie Campbell, you are the winner. Thank you, Georgie. All righty. Uh, let's see. Hi, Binks. He's back again. Okay. I am offering two sets of Scrabble tiles and the little things that you put the tiles on. Each, each lot that I just dropped. Each lot comes with, oh, Binks, please, comes with oh, uh, the black bag with 100 tiles and the little letter stands, the tile stands, four of those. And as I said, I have two sets. Each has 100 tiles and four tile stands. So these could be used for crafting or whatever you guys would like to do. So the first two people to type in the number will get um, a bag. So they are going to be $6 each and they are number 35. $6 each, number 35. So the first two people. Barb J.M. and Patricia Gesner. Okay, Barb J.M. and Patricia Gesner. Get the Scrabble uh, tiles. Oops, 
Well, it's Gez. The R is on the other page. It's now Patricia Gez because she couldn't fit the R. <laughs> Binks! Mom, if it, he's going to knock anything over. It's my stuff. It's on the end. <sighs> Okie dokie. What are you doing over there, sir? He just wants attention. I know he does, but, you know. Binksy, go sit in the window, bud. Go on. Go sit in the window. All right. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I have a set of really cool um, crystal dishes. I don't know. I really am not sure what they use these for. I don't know if they use them as like a butter dish, a soap dish, a candy dish. You could use them for whatever you would like. But it is a set of three of these clear glass oval dishes. Now, this one does have a chip right here and right here. But I just love, like, the, the, the design is so pretty. So there's this one, and then there's this one, which is really, really pretty. I love the handles on here. This one has um, no chips. And then there's this one, which is my favorite out of all three. I love the pattern on this one. And look at the handles. So, so cool. So you get the set of three for ten dollars and these are going to be number 18 so you get all three for ten dollars number 18. anna stewart anna stewart okay you get the three glass bowls All right, I have a piece of Pyrex for you. And I believe this particular pattern was a promotional pattern. I can't remember the year that it came out, but uh, the name of this pattern is called Golden Rosette. And as you can see, it is done in gold metallic or whatever paint uh, it's in excellent condition uh, here's the bottom Pyrex and the it comes with the lid um, I do not believe there are any chips or flea bites at all in the lid and I'm also including this cradle with it. 1969. Thank you, Casey. So this is a really, really nice piece of Pyrex. So let me find my... You think I'd be prepared, you know? I told you. <laughs> so... This Pyrex piece is $16, and it's going to be number 33. $16, number 33. Blue Flaw Merc. Blue Flaw Merc! <laughs> you are the wiener! <laughs> yeah, it is a great price. It really is. So... Congratulations there, Lori. All right. Let me do another piece of um, linen. So I have this adorable dresser scarf, vintage. And it is a little lady, 
Look at the edging. Isn't that pretty? And it's the same on the other side. Uh, I, I did wash this. I don't really see any like stains or anything on it. But it's really, really pretty. So that pretty little dresser scarf is going to be $8 and it's number 36. $8, number 36 for the dresser scarf. Jill Mozina. Jill Mozina. All right. So while I'm at it, I also have a couple of aprons that I would like to offer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you both aprons so that you know what they look like and you can bid on whichever one you would like. That way you don't like bid on one and then I show you the second one and you're like, oh, I like that one better. So I'm going to show them both to you and then you can bid on whichever one you like. So, I did show this one in a haul video. Uh-oh, what happened? Pinky happened? What happened? Something broke. What broke? Um, I think it was Grandma Louise. <gasps> what? On my nightstand? Yeah. <sighs> no, not your vase, Margaret. <laughs> no, it was my grandmother's vase. That was already broken and glued. Well. Now it's really broken. Well, it's fixable. <sighs> Binks. Your buddy, Binks. Yeah, he did it. Okay, so anyways. I don't know how much glue I could possibly put on this poor face. In fairness, he does go from the window to I know that, he and does. It just seems like a really risky piece I to I know. <laughs> Anyways, I have this apron. It is pink, white, and black polka dots. This is the bottom. However, it does have a couple of stains that I was not able to get out. One is, where is it? Hang on. There is one stain here. No, the and then one here. I tried to get it out, but I couldn't get it out. So, this is the first apron. And then the second apron used to be Jessica's. Um, so, it is has cupcakes on it. The whole thing is cupcakes. It doesn't have any pockets, but it does have some staining up on the top. I don't know. Can you guys see like the discoloration over here? Hmm. Okay, so those are the two aprons. So we will start with the pink one first. So this apron is going to be $10, and it's going to be number 38 for the pink one. Are you doing it separate? $10, number 38 for the pink one. Uh, Cynthia Amitrano. Okay, my girl Cynthia, she gets the pink one. All right, and then... The cupcake one is also um, 
And that is going to be number 69. $10, number 69 for the cupcake one. Sis. All right, Marilyn. There you go, Dolly. All right. So there, that's all of my linens for today. Okay. Um, okay, I showed these in a recent um, haul video. Um, and of course, me being me. Why don't you just switch it with one? Well, because I, you know, I can, but whatever. Um, so it is a set of six of these oval melamine plates. So there color. is two of each color. There is this real pretty, like a salmon white and blue color. Then there's like this ugly. It's brown. Like a tan. It looks like craft paper with yeah, orange and green speckles. Right. Craft paper brown with orange and green speckles. <laughs> and then there are two of this color, which is kind of like a... I think they're different. They're different. Well, this one has like blue, salmon color, green... Yes, they're called barf. You don't like the barf bowls. And then there's this one. Right. Which is more like orangey and yeah. more, more that salmon. That one's got yellow in it. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, so there are six of them, and these are nice size. They're probably like 12 inches, you know, long, and probably six, six inches wide. wide. Not a giant platter, but a little one. So, no, these are like pl dinner plates. You could use them as dinner plates. So, these are going to be, you get all six of them for $14, number 20. $14, number 20. Crafty Jackie. Crafty Jackie. No, I think someone was above oh, her. Oh, sorry. KCATX. Yes. Sorry, Jackie. Sorry, Jackie. It was it was Carrie. KCATX. You win the melamine plates. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do another offer up item, guys, because I have um six of them today. So I want to do another one really well here. Let me do this first, and then we'll do an offer up. I have this. This is gorgeous. Look at this beautiful platter. Yeah. I love the design. It reminds me of, like, the 20s, I guess. So pretty. It's a decent size. It's Independence Ironstone. And I just love the blue and the white. And then it has like this ribbed detailing along the inside. And this has uh, got to be uh, at least 12 inches. 12 inches long by probably 8 inches wide. Isn't it beautiful? So this is going to be $12, number 19. $12, number 19 for that gorgeous platter. Patricia Gesner. Patricia Gesner. You get the platter. Yeah, it is really pretty. I love it. All right. Let me do an offer up item. <laughs> we'll do this first. Let me move these items over so I can get at them. I'm still here, guys. 
These are all off for up items here. Okay. These over here. All right. Let me get my timer here. First of all, let's unplug that now. Alrighty, so y'all know the drill. Actually, give me that because uh, I only got 20%. What are you at? Oh, I'm good. Go ahead, unplug it. Sorry, guys. Yep. But you need to plug that yeah, in hold over on. there still. Move it this way. Alright, give me one second, guys, because I got to get out of low power mode first. We have to plug her phone in because she's getting low on battery. All right, so this is the drill. You get one minute to put your offers in. At the end of the minute, we will say stop. We will refresh, and we will see who the winner is of the item. Whoever is the person with the highest bid above the word stop will be the winner. So, what am I offering? Well, I am offering this Weller pottery planter i guess it is uh they call it cameo so the only issue that this has like a peach is this spot right here it looks like a chip came out of it and they glued it back into place that is the only issue with this piece. There's the bottom. Keep it away from Binks, I know, right? Oh, so this is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. So we are going to start offers on this piece at $14, okay? And, um, the number of the piece is, uh, so you know. Well, we'll tell them after. Okay, yeah, we'll tell you after. Okay. Here he is again. All right. Are we ready? One, two, three, start. <laughs> Starting bid is $14. 15, Cam Folly. Yeah, he came to tell me what he did. <laughs> 16, Lori Wortley. 20 bucks, Cheryl Hoskins. Twenty one, Denise Ellard. All right, we're coming up on thirty seconds. Twenty two, Joanne Baber. Thirty bucks, Cheryl Hoskins. Twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stop. All right, we are going to refresh and see who the lucky winner is. I would love to be able to refresh one time. Without, without a commercial? Commercial, <laughs> Where'd the chat go? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Where'd it go? Hit the chat thing. Uh, the chat thing. What happened? She can't. She lost the chat. Well, I'm doing it on my phone. Hold on. Uh... Oh, here. Hold on. There we oh, go. there it is. Anyways, uh, so it is thirty-one dollars. Cynthia Amitron. Cynthia, she wanted that too. Cynthia. And it is number sixty. Four. Number 64 is the Weller Pottery. Congratulations, <laughs> Cynthia. Yay, $31. All right. Awesome. Cynthia, okay. 31. So, for people who like vintage Disney things, I have this set. 
a vintage Disney baby wall plaques. We have... Where'd the balloons come from? Oh, that goes to the other guy. <laughs> I was like, I bought that. We have, I don't know where those came from. <laughs> we have Pluto. We have Little Minnie. And we have Mickey. Uh, these are... I have my phone on Do Not Disturb. How did a call just come through? I don't understand it? that. I have no idea. Mm. But anyways, it's from the Walt Disney Company. And they are in really good condition. Um, there is a little bit of wear like on the edges, as you can see. But these would look so cute in a little kid's room. Like, they're just adorable. So, you get... The set of three for $12, and these are going to be number 58, $12. Was it the same number again? Yes. You guys, somebody gave my number that ordered Chinese food. It's buffering now. Right, no, you're back up and functioning. Am I back now? Yeah. Okay, so the issue is, it was somebody from a Chinese restaurant. Someone gave them my phone number that ordered Chinese food. Well, maybe they just heard them wrong. So, that's why they kept calling back. Okay, well, you're going to have to redo that. Yes, maybe. that's why. So, I'm sorry. So anyways, so these Disney wall plaques are going to be $12, and they are number 58. Was it paid for? I don't know. <laughs> I should have asked. <laughs> All right. Blue Flaw Merc. Blue Flaw Merc. You get the Disney wall plaques. <laughs> Clown Alert. But this is a cool one, and this is from 1979. It is made by the Dolly Toy Company, and it is another wall plaque item for a child's room. And it is this clown, and it also has pegs to hang clothes from, and it has balloons that go with it. Oh, you just have to put a string through his hand. Yeah, he needs a string. There's a hole in his hand for a string that goes to the balloons. They go like this. So he is, he does have some issues because he's, you know, from 1979. But for the most part, he's in really great shape. Isn't it cute? It's just adorable. His hat is really the only place that has some issues. So, this cute little guy is also $12, and he is number 59. $12, number 59, oh. for this little cutie. You're buffering on my end. Uh-oh, buffering again? Am I buffering, guys? Yep. No, you're still buffering. I'm still oh, buffering. Wait. Jill Mozina said 59. Okay. Okay. Jill Mozina, 59. Okay, Jill, you get the um, number 59, the clown wall plaque. All right, let me set that over there. Okay, next I have, um, I'm not exactly sure what this is used. I'm thinking it's probably maybe to put spices or something in. I know I asked you guys this when I did the haul video, um, but it is this little, it's a book. No, upside down. Sorry. <laughs> and... 
it looks like this and it has a cork in the top to put something in. So I don't know if what you would put in here. I have no idea. Like a flask? Well, it looks like a flask, but okay. A ceramic flask? Really? Does it smell like it's alcohol? for spices? Liquor? No. <laughs> booze. Everybody's saying booze. <laughs> that's a big hole though for a spice to come out of yeah look at look how big the hole smell is it, Does it, smell like it doesn't alcohol? smell like anything so i don't have any idea you could put what you want in there laura laura bemos you could put your devil's lettuce in there you Ooh, know what is that weed uh -huh. <laughs> um whatever so this is going to be seven dollars Number 48, $7, number 48 for the little flask or spice jar. <laughs> I just think it's cute. I like the colors. Diane Caroline. Diane Caroline. All right. <laughs> Hi, Binksy. What's up, buddies? No, no climbing on the table. Mommy's not real happy with you at the moment, okay? All right. Next, I have a cute set of little duck figurines. Um, I bought them separately, but I'm, put, I'm selling them as a set. We have this little cutie right here. <laughs> Look at the little eyelashes. Yeah, he's having a bad day. Then we have this one. He's a little cutie. He's got a little yellow bow. So you get the set of two. These would be cute for Easter time or even in a bathroom. So these are going to be $6 and they are number 49. $6, number 49 for the set. Linda Dickerhoff. Linda Dickerhoff, those little duckies are yours. All right, um, I'm going to do another offer up item, guys, because I have one, two, three, I have four more offer up items. So let me do another one right now. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You had seven. Yeah. All right, everybody. The next offer up item is this adorable set of Lefton Retirement Couple Banks. They are so cute. They are missing their plugs. But apparently, you can buy um, banks at Dollar Tree and just take the plugs out and use them for these. Uh, they're in really good condition. There's just a couple little areas of uh, like a little paint chips. This one has it uh, like back here on the back. They're just absolutely adorable. So we are going to start offers on these at um, $12. Okay. Is everybody ready? All right, ready, set, go. $12 is the starting bid for these two little cuties. I just love them. I don't see any bids. Nobody likes them like I do. <laughs> That's okay, though. They're really cute. There's the Lefton sticker on the bottom. So we're 30 seconds. That's okay. Nobody wants them. I know they're adorable. Okay, we have 10 seconds left. All right, stop. 
Wow, that's the first time I ever did an offer up item that didn't get a bid. <laughs> that didn't get an offer. Well, it, an offer. Oops. Okay, that's all right. Okay. Uh, next I have. I don't know what this is. I don't have, what, what's? Well, let me see the card. Cause I don't have that. Oh. Horse Duvers holder. Oh no, that was from last week. I made a mistake with that. Or did I forget to bring it out? Wait a minute guys, I forgot a piece. Come on, we gotta go to the next one. I can't find it. Okay, well. Forget that item, guys, because I can't, I don't know where I put it. All right. So, I have uh, some pink depression glass. So, first is this beautiful... This is elegant depression glass. This is a gorgeous etched footed bowl. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is the bottom side. Just beautiful. So this bowl, which is uh, the largest of the three that I have, is going to be $12 and it's going to be number 12. $12, number 12 for this beautiful pink depression glass bowl. Elaine Wallace. Elaine Wallace. All righty. This belongs to you. It's gorgeous. Where do you get it? It is really pretty. All right. Next is another gorgeous pink depression glass bowl. It looks like this. It has the, the feet. Beautiful ribbed uh, design with the scallop top. And a beautiful design here. Just gorgeous. Oh, Elaine, your number was number 12 for the bowl that you just won was number 12. This bowl is going to be $9. And this one is number 13. $9, number 13. Denise Ellard. Denise Ellard, you win this beautiful bowl. And my final uh, piece of pink depression glass, this actually almost looks like it could go with the first one, the largest one. Um, and it is this one. Look at the look at the detailing on this bowl. Look at the edges. Just gorgeous. It has the, the feet. That's the bottom. It has like a little knob there. And it like the edges fold, you know, not fold over, but bend over. Just beautiful. This bowl is $7 and it's number 14. $7, number 14. Cynthia Amatrano. I knew it. She loves her depression glass. <laughs> Cynthia. 
All right. Okay, it's time for another offer up item, guys. Uh, all right. I had uh, a few people uh, email me regarding this next item, and I thought these were the cutest thing ever. I showed them in my last haul video, and I am doing an offer up on this set. We have the man. They are little, like, canisters. We have the man, and we have his little wife. <laughs> They are pottery, perfect condition, no cracks, no chips. This is just um, glaze that dripped down in there. It's not a crack. So these are so dang cute. So you're going to get, we're going to bid on the set of two of these. Offer. Offer. Sorry. So starting offer for this set is going to be $15 and you will have one minute to put your offers in. All right, ready, set, go. $15 is the opening bid. I'm just gonna hold their faces because I'm afraid I'm gonna drop them. <laughs> They are so cute. All right, absolutely adorable. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. 30 seconds. All right, we're getting down to 10 seconds, everyone. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stop. All right, we're refreshing. Pretty sure it's. Joyce Myers for $33. Joyce Give me Myers. One to just validate that. Joyce Myers. Joyce Myers for $33. There you go, Joyce. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. All right. I have um, one more regular item. I'm going to. Um, so because I don't, I don't have that number, right? Uh, no, but I scribbled it off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I had a card for this, but I obviously don't. Well, you have it written down. That's. Oh wait, no, you don't. That's a vintage scale. Hold on. Um, give me one second, guys. I just want to see. The vintage. Oh, there it is. It should be okay. So. I have to change the number here, guys. You have to change the price, too. Okay. Next, I have this vintage hand mirror. Don't worry about no, that. No, I'm just going to write it on here. Really, really, it's it's in good condition, um, except for the mirror part. The mirror does have um, some scratches and stuff on it. Look, there's Jessica. Hello. <laughs> but um, like the handle, everything is in really good shape. So um, where is it? It's right here. Oh, so this mirror is going to be $10 and it's number 21. $10, number 21 for the vintage hand mirror. 
Brohan. Swolo. Oh, that's what you call it. Um, that's um. Oh my God, I Is forgot that already. To be like Han Solo, but just like <laughs> Mitch Match. It's it's Maria at um, Empty Nesting Two. So put Empty Nesting Two next to it, bro. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. What is, is Bro Han Solo mean? Okay, so it was right. I was right. Okay, so she's About laughing. Han Solo. It's her son's um, oh. thing, I guess. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right. My last regular item is going to be this Apple rolling pin. This is really, really cool. Okay, this is more of a of a decor piece, I think, than actual because it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't really roll. It doesn't really roll <laughs> per se. So it's more of a decor piece. So this is going to be ten dollars, and it's going to be number seventy. $10, number 70. <laughs> I know, isn't it cute? I think it's adorable. Linda Dickerhoff. Linda, Linda Dickerhoff, you are the winner of the Apple Rolling Pin. I'm sorry, I forgot I had a number That's for it. I scribbled it off. Yeah, oops. All right, so my last offer up item. Now this is a, a heavy item. It's like six pounds. But if you live, you know, if you don't live close far, if you live close to New York. Or in New York. Or in New York, um, you're good. Ugh. All right, so this is my last offer up item and my last item for today's sale. It is this vintage scale. Um, it does kilograms and grams? Yeah. Yes, kilograms and grams. So there it is. I, you guys can see the, um, the name on there. Okay. And... This is the top, it comes right off, and it sits right back on. So, as I said, this scale weighs about six pounds. So, oh, and it's glaring me. <laughs> um, but it is made by Hans Humor. It's made by Micro. Doft, so it's German, okay? All right, so the bidding for this vintage scale is gonna start at $15. Let me take that off and let me reset my timer. All right, everybody, are you ready? Set, start. Rhine Messing Scale. That's what it says on the bottom. Uh, that might be, I mean, that fits perfectly on there, but maybe that was from a different one. No, that's the way it goes. This is really, really a cool scale. I'm only going to hold it up for a minute because it is heavy. <laughs> so we are coming up on 30 seconds. Very, very awesome piece. 40 seconds. Oh, yeah. Well, Dana, I forget where you're at. Okay, 10 seconds, guys. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. I'm pretty sure it's Elizabeth. We just refreshed, we're checking. 
Tis Elizabeth for 25. Elizabeth, you are the winner of the scale for $25. There you go. Congratulations. And the scale is number uh 63. Number 63. So when you email me, just let me know that you won the scale number 63. All right. So Jessica's going to put my email address in, in there for everyone. Um, I only had two items that didn't sell, so I'm just going to show them really quick. Um, I had this set of Nippon uh, salt and pepper shakers. I was asking eight for them. I will come down to $6 for these. And they are number 31. $6, number 31, if anybody wants them. Effie Boyd. Effie Boyd. Are you sure? Effie Boyd? No. Oh, A sorry. Uh, Anna Gamoy. A Gamoy. You won the, the Nippon Salt and Pepper Shakers. How much were they? Six dollars. Doing too many things at one time. Sorry. And the uh, last item um, that didn't sell is this Starbucks You Are Here mug. This is the Detroit mug. So I was asking ten for it. I will come down to eight dollars. If anybody would like this really cool mug, it's in perfect condition. Um, it is number 53. Number 53 for the Detroit mug. $8. Agamoy, you got the Starbucks mug. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, do you want to do mine or no? Um, Jessica has a couple things that didn't sell. Aside from the baby thing. So, um, she's going to offer those to you. Well, I'll just grab that one. Um, did you want to? Yeah, so that one will be. This one, she was asking 15 for. He will be 12. So, she will offer him for $12. Letter P. Letter P. $12, letter P, for the poo like pillow. Oh, Lori Wortley. Okay, Lori. Thank you, honey. Okay, so you get this little cutie. All right, so change that. Um, and then the other thing the is 20. this adorable backpack, brand new, never used, still has the tags on it. This would be cute for somebody's grandkids. Um, she was asking 25, but she's come down to 20. And this is going to be letter S, as in Sam. $20. Letter S. And the only other thing is this two-piece set. It's this Disney cup. It's a cold or a hot Which cup. Which I think normally retails for 30 bucks. just the cup. These cups usually go for $30 alone, just for the cup. And she's also got the ears match. to match. So, um... I'll do it for 15 She said she'll come down from 20 to $15 for this set. And it's letter F as in Frank... $15, letter F. Okay. All right. That is going to do it for me. Uh -huh. Oh, Annie P. Annie P, you got the set for $15. There you go. Thank you. Whew. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for another live sale. I'm pooped today. That's all I can say. And let me tell you, what a haul video I'm going to have for you guys coming up. 
Got a lot of stuff in my living room over there on the floor. Hmm. Won't be for a few days, though, because after t today, I'll be working on orders. So <laughs> I'm glad you all could come. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Want to say bye, Jess? Bye. She said bye. <laughs> bye, everybody. See you later.